The man lying between the crisp white sheets of the guest bed was very like Ali Haza, but also distinctly unlike the Arab ruffian Holmes and I had known. In fact, I had nearly convinced myself that our visitor was merely a stranger with a strong resemblance to the man, a brother perhaps, when a jab from the doctor's sewing needle brought him near to consciousness and he growled a string of florid Arabic curses. It was Ali, all right. Before Holmes' pet medical man had clipped the thread from his half-dozen stitches, the patient had lapsed back into the restless swoon that had gripped him from the moment he fell through our door. Seeing his tossing head and hearing the apparent gibberish from his lips, the doctor reached back into his satchel for a hypodermic needle. With that, Ali finally succumbed to oblivion. I adjusted the pad of clean toweling underneath his bandaged scalp and followed the two men out of the room, leaving the door ajar. Downstairs in the kitchen, Dr. Amberley was scrubbing the blood from his hands and giving Holmes a set of unnecessary instructions. <laughs>